Howdy folks, welcome back to Black Mountain. Got a few more uh, cattle to, whoa! Easy there, cow butt. And got a few more cattle to take care of. Yeah, about 30 more head. So we still got our two uh, milkers. The rest are uh, bulls in disguise. Bought the limousine. So that means we've got uh, quite a bit of chore to do. Let's turn back on. We're uh, early morning here, day six, midsummer. And uh, with all these new cows, we need to get a bunch of stuff in. Starting with water. Turn the water on, let that run. Got the tractor over here warming up. So we'll get the mess cleaned up. Uh, we'll just kind of probably just do some chores today. It's going to be a lot busier, of course, with the extra cows. This is one game mechanic I could totally do without. I think it's just kind of a giant waste. <laughs> it's got to be done. See how much of this they take. Well, they took all of it. So, we can go mix some more TMR. See if I can get the silage dumped in there. Sometimes it takes it, sometimes it doesn't. I think it depends on how full it is. Yeah, I think it took at that time. All right, well, let's head on down to the silage pit and we'll load this up. I think I've got the big bucket down there already. I'm going to get too carried away coming down this hill. So far, the weather's been pretty good this summer. Not a ton of rain or anything. Been pretty nice. Grass is still coming up. Still coming up a little strange, but it should be fully grown everywhere soon enough. All right, so if we're gonna be coming out of there. this back around here. Maybe. A bit of a bump there. It's not a ton of extra room back in here, but we'll make it work. I'll put this smaller bucket here. Uh, without the weight, it might be a little tricky with the big bucket. We'll give it a whirl. Probably I'll just leave the weight down here. How squirrely are you going to want to get? Probably not too bad uh, as long as we're careful. <laughs> I'd say she's a little light in the back end. We don't need too many scoops here. Just uh, two scoops of this. We'll be good. Thanks to the magic of farm sim, the thing turns on even though it's got nothing hooked up to it. I even tried an XML trick to make that not happen and it still happens, so. Yay, farm sim. It's okay, we can still have some fun with it. this up. Oops, turned the wrong way. Uh-oh. <laughs> yeah, farming safety with Kerbo. Just don't want to get too carried away. Oh, well, easy. Yeah, I need to uh, remember to get that weight down here and just keep it with the big bucket. So I've got about as much as I think I can stuff in the little shed. So we'll take out of here. And I don't know. If we don't have this moved by harvest time, then we'll figure something else out. 
Alright, now we just redo everything. Get the bucket back on. Oop, somehow I picked up silage sitting there on the ground. bit of ballet here and we'll be on our way. So just over 4,000 worth of silage. We'll fill it up with uh, hay, maybe a little bit of straw. My voice is a little off today. Allergies are just kicking my butt. I think it's its last little hurrah before winter gets here. <laughs> I did mow the yard the other day, but I don't, I don't know. I haven't done anything out of the ordinary. Allergies today have just been absolutely brutal. All right, let's sneak up through here. I did move some of that extra gravel over here. So this grass, I think, is pretty much ready to cut. It's just not growing in everywhere, which is really strange. And naturally, it's not growing in here because I've been running over it. But over there by the silo, some thin spots, and the fields aren't... I don't think the fields are fully grown in yet. All right, so back in here, and then we want to pick... Hey, get to about 8,000 ish. There we go. And then we'll do the rest of straw. We've got plenty of straw. And if we look at our little meter here, yeah, I could have even done a little more straw probably. I'll turn it on to mix it, even though you don't have to do that because reasons look at those oats oats are looking pretty good it looks like they're ready to harvest but they're not about 83% uh, growth there moisture's not too bad fertilization is not the greatest uh, but I don't have anything with care wheels so I didn't want to be driving in there with the 7810 so I'll probably need to do a little better planning next time with the fertilization. Or uh, maybe get a different seeder. Maybe I can figure out a way to get uh, at least two stages. I do have the sprayer, but I don't have uh, a tractor to pull that with with care wheels all right water tank filled up that's good how much more TMR did you need oh boy quite a bit <laughs> it's a lot different from two cows Probably should have let the John Deere cool off, but yeah, well. So if we take a look at the animal screen. But it told me up here. I guess it doesn't. These are all the uh, the young'uns. Quite a bit of manure, quite a bit of slurry. Get a little bit of milk here and there. Uh, but the cows do need some straw. And you can see there on the grass, I don't think they have quite enough grass in their pen. I mean, it's enough, but it's not enough to fill up the bar for that many cows. It's pretty crowded in there, really. So let's take a little morning jaunt over to the horses. We'll get them taken care of, and then we'll bring some straw over here for the cows. So pretty up here in the mountains. Birds are certainly having having a good time.
haven't really been riding the horses that much. I probably should do that. Are they looking for water? I think I just watered them. Let's. Yeah, it doesn't want to turn on, so they've got plenty. The old Chevy fired up. Not sure the horses need much, but we'll get them topped off while we're here. up next to here. Yeah, barely even needed anything. get the cow some straw and then uh, the rest of the day is mine. Maybe I'll go ride some horses or do some fishing. <laughs> Not a whole lot to do. We're just kind of waiting on crops to grow in. Waiting for the grass to grow. And taking care of the cows and horses. Could get the uh, manure spreader filled up. Still got that to do. How's it going, cows? You guys may need quite a bit more straw now with that many cows. Yeah, it's a good thing we have all that straw in the barn. They take for near half a truckload. All right, back over to the parking spot. Look at the grass field. It looks like they're only about a third grown in, so it may be a while before we get a grass harvest. That's okay. We we need to get uh, some hay in. I think we're okay on silage for a while. So I might do quite a bit of the grass as hay. Definitely doing okay on straw. I may end up trying to sell some straw at some point. Set that there under the roof. I believe the mower is all set. It's a little uh, a little dirty. Should probably stand a good washing. In fact, let's just uh, let's take it down and get it washed up. Starts good. down the trail here. I don't want to bang it up too much. Out here, birds. So we'll wash this up and make sure it's all ready to go because we will have uh, some grass eventually. Actually, I'll check this grass. The grass around... Uh, this wild grass here around may be about ready to go. I don't know if that's dirt map dirt or just baked on dirt. Yeah, it looks like it's gone, so it was dirt map dirt. And we're good on fuel and maintenance.
How are we looking here, grass? Yeah, I thought that looked fully grown. So maybe we'll know a little bit of this. Well, let's check the forecast. How are we looking here? Rest of the day is sunny, sunny, sunny. Tomorrow is sunny, sunny, sunny. No rain in the forecast uh, until maybe Sunday. So it's a good time to mow. I wish the rest of the grass was ready to go. But we'll mow what we got. It's nice and dry, so, and, and it should dry in the sun quite nicely. Might even be able to pick it up this evening with all this sun. Just kind of mow everything along the roads. See, here's where I've mowed in the past, and it's not growing as much. It's like if you harvest it, it grows differently. It's really strange. Not sure if that's the way it's supposed to work. Maybe it's the painted on grass that grows differently? Not 100% sure. It'd be interesting picking up this hay. This is a great little mowing machine. Whoa! A little hard to steer, though. Drive like from the cab. Does have a nice cab in it? A little bit quieter in here too. Not a ton, but a little bit. Some of this hillside here. This will be about it then for back in here. Get some of this too. Come on, climb the hill. There you go. Raise up for those bushes there. It's, uh, oops, wrong button. I guess return to center on the steering could be a little snappier. I'm going to call that good for the hillside. I don't want to fall over. Doesn't look like a ton of grass, but once you start mowing, you actually get quite a bit knocked down. My yard could deep mode. <laughs> I wish you could uh, 
paint on like a shorter te uh, texture or something. So it would stay about this this length. See, that hasn't grown in yet. That's all painted. Some of this down here. I think it's just the painted grass is not growing the same as the other grass, maybe. I'm not sure. But then a lot of this is painted as well, and it's not grown in. So I don't know what the story there is. We've got a little bit here. I guess I'll mow it. Some of this is knocked down from driving on it. I'll let the rest of that grow in. Let's go check over here by the uh, cow pen. Might have a little bit. Yeah, I got a little bit back in there. So I left the manure spreader in the way. So the Hoover does fit on the John Deere. It's uh, it's almost a little small for it. So I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna keep my eye out for a smaller tractor that we can put some care wheels on, and that would also run the Hoover. Uh, but I don't have any money right now, so <laughs> there is that. But uh, keep an eye out on the used market around here. See what I can come up with. Don't really need more than one tractor for this size of farm, but at the same time, the John Deere's a little bit big. It's nice having all that power, but it, it's a little bit big for some stuff. Make the turn. Yeah, we got it. No problem. Um, there's a little bit of grass here that I've driven over. I guess we'll cut what we can. How's it going, cows? The only downside to this mower is the sound gets a little repetitive. The running sound gives you a little more variation. Other than that though, it's a great little machine. It's fun to use, it works well. go. I think we'll call that good. We'll let the sun dry all that out. Then uh, hopefully in a few more days we'll get some actual field grass growing in. That seems to be taking a long time. Now let's go this direction. A few weeds here and there in the oats, but overall not too bad. I think we're going to be okay. There's just a few spots here and there that didn't grow for whatever reason. Uh, let's see. I can't get through that way.
I can sneak in the way I came out. That'll work. All right, we'll let that cool down. It was working pretty hard. What do you think, horsies? Can't really tell that the trees up here are growing. Can't tell they've gotten any taller at all. I'm not sure how that works. They're probably pretty slow growing, would be my guess. But uh, anyway, we got uh, 32 heads of cows, I believe. Does it show me number on here? Yeah, 32. So we got 30 limousines plus the two milkers. One milker is giving milk. The other is not. Um, if we take a look at the animal screen here, it says we're going to need 194,000 liters per year. So we got our work cut out for us. I don't have any idea how much silage we have because it never told me when it was in the clamp. Um, worst case scenario, we take some back to town and sell them before they're fattened up. But uh, we'll give it a try. We got quite a bit of silage. Still got 20,000 liters or so of hay in the barn. And got a bunch of grass, hopefully to cut at some point. No shortage of straw at all. But uh, yeah, we'll give it a go this year and we'll see what happens. So uh, thanks as always for hanging out. And I will catch you later. Take care.